welcome to my channel. If you've seen any of my videos before, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you my review on the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. I purchased this a couple months ago without the intention of doing a review just because I wanted it, but it has changed my life so much that I thought I gotta do a review on it because everyone needs this. So I first found this when I was watching videos of the Dyson blow drying hairbrush. The Dyson one has like a curling tool and a whole slew of other tools. However, it is not cheap. It's not even reasonable. Most people probably can't afford this. When I looked it up, it was around $600 for the complete set. I don't know about you, that's just not doable. I mean, that's like how much some people pay in rent each month. That's so much money for a hair product. Needless to say, it was out of the question, so I started searching for dupes and cheaper alternatives so I can achieve something like the Dyson hairbrush, hair, hair drying brush, without spending three digits. The video that actually sealed the deal for me was Kathleen Light's video. She did a comparison of the Dyson air dryer and then the Revlon one on two different sides of her head, and she gave her honest opinion, and they weren't that different. Obviously, this isn't going to come with the same detachable heads like the Dyson one does, so you can't do as much. But if you're looking just to dry your hair instead of using a traditional hair dryer, it's a fraction of the price. And I am so excited to tell you about it because it has changed my hair game. Now, when I got this, I purchased it in a store from Target, and I really wanted the blue one, but for some reason, the pink and black one was the only one on sale. I could have spent $60 on the blue one, or $35 for this one. So obviously I got this one, but if you are watching this video and you go and search online, don't pay full price. You can definitely find it for cheaper. I saw some people saying they got it for under 30 somewhere. So definitely do your research, search around, don't pay the full price. So if you are completely unfamiliar with something like this, I will give my best attempt at a description. So it plugs in like a normal hair dryer and it's just like as if you had a round brush and a hair dryer and you were trying to blow out your hair, it's built all into one. So the air is pushing through the bristles as you run it through your hair. So not only is it drying, but it's also styling it and creating volume. It's not on right now, obviously. I find it works best when my hair is still pretty wet. Later in this video, I'm gonna wash my hair and show you a demonstration of using the Revlon dryer on one side and then a standard hair dryer and a round brush on the other side to show you how they both look, how quickly they both operate. Revlon one is so simple. You only technically need one hand. Like if you want, you can just comb through all of your hair like this. You can just like, as if you're brushing down, if you wanna do that. I like to go piece by piece and I will kind of dry it this way and then just keep turning it so that I create some more curl and body to my hair. The reason why I first started looking for an alternative hair dryer is because I am terrible at blowing out my hair with a round brush and a standard hair dryer. And if I don't blow it out, if I'm just drying it, my hair is naturally curly. And when I blow dry it without using a round brush or doing something to kind of control it, if I'm just blowing it dry, it looks ginormous frizzy, dry, it gets intense. I usually have to do a lot of damage control after I blow dry my hair because it's like four times its size. You will see the demonstration later in this video of me using this, but I just wanted to say this has cut down the time that I've spent styling my hair, drying my hair. It's made it so much easier. I get less frustrated. I feel like it's better for my hair. I will be comparing it to the normal hair dryer so that you will get the pros and cons to see if it's actually beneficial for you to purchase it, given your needs. But as a spoiler, I freaking love this thing and I hope you will continue watching to see just how amazing it is. If you're excited for this video, make sure you give it a like, a thumbs up, whatever you wanna call it. Subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos like this and just keep watching. Now that you're gone, I spend my nights all alone here Wishing you were here, sweet and my
Okay, so I just finished up my hair. Obviously, you saw me do this side with just a blow dryer and a round brush, and then the Revlon blow drying brush on this side. I realized after I stopped the video that the hair on the Revlon side wasn't completely dry, so I did go back over it for another minute. However, it still cut out a minute. This side took about seven and a half minutes. This side took about six and a half minutes. Not a huge difference, but it is something. Time is precious, you could spend that minute subscribing to this channel if you want to see more videos like this. I'm sorry, I know that was cheesy. So I'm gonna go over the pros and cons of the Revlon blow dryer. I'm gonna start with the cons. The one thing I would say is that you have to go over the hair more times than you do with a normal hair dryer. With a normal hair dryer, it pumps out a lot more air at a faster speed. With the Revlon one, if it pumped out that amount of air at the same rate, I feel like it would just blow your hair all over. So you do have to do more passes over your hair. However, it still took less time to do this side of my head than this side of my head. I'm turning this con into a pro. When you go over with the Revlon one, it makes it a lot more smoother. Like this side may have dried quicker, but it didn't make it as smooth and straight as it did on the Revlon side. Honestly, I'm sitting here trying to think of another thing that counts as a con and I can't think of anything other than if you use your hair dryer to dry clothes or something, or if you have like a wet spot. I don't know. So I guess the Revlon one doesn't have the same versatility as a normal hair dryer. Like I know a normal hair dryer is really good for getting labels off of glass. And I guess it wouldn't really work with the Revlon one, but how often are you doing that? I'm really grasping for cons at this moment. And I'm being totally honest, like this has changed my hair game. I dreaded drying my hair with a hair dryer before. I usually try and let it air dry if I have time, but my hair takes hours to dry. <laughs> so if I wash my hair at 5 p.m., it needs, I'd say like five or six hours to be completely dry. And that's after I like put up part of my hair to let the lower parts dry. There's just so much of my hair and it's thick. If I have to wash my hair and then do something later that day where it needs to be styled, I have to blow dry it. So what I used to do is I would blow dry my hair and then I would go immediately to straightening it because as you can see, it's really hard for me at least to get my hair to be straight with a normal hair straightener. You could definitely tell in the video that I struggle using both arms, like trying to get the hair with the brush while keeping the hair dryer in your hand. I don't know how hairstylists do it, I can't. That's what I really like about the Revlon dryer is that you can hold it with one hand and you can grab your hair with your other hand. Whereas the other one, it's like you're trying to maneuver both around your hair and it's just, I don't like it. Maybe I'm the only one on this earth that struggles with it so much, but I doubt it. So to list off some more of the pros of the Revlon dryer, it leaves your hair a lot smoother. Like, I don't know if you can tell, it just looks less frizzy on this side. You can see more flyaways, more little pieces sticking up. I feel like it kind of looks shinier on this side. I don't know if that's just because it's straighter. So obviously it got my hair a lot straighter. Normally, if I do this while my hair is still mostly wet, I can get it to look flat iron straight. My hair had already been drying for a little bit before I started blow drying it. So I think that hindered my ability to get it super straight because it was already kind of drying in that curl or in that wave. Because normally if I use the Revlon dryer, I can just use that. I don't have to go in with the second step for the flat iron, especially if I am spending more than six and a half minutes on my hair. I can get it to where it looks straight and I don't need to do anything else to it. So not only am I saving time to dry my hair, but I'm also saving time that would take me to flat iron it. I also want to believe that that means my hair is going to be healthier since I'm not going on with heat and then a flat iron. It's just the heat from the dryer. I'm no scientist or hairstylist, but I feel like hot air is better for your hair than cramping it between two hot plates. Another thing I really like about the Revlon one is that since I only have to hold it with one hand and I can position my hair with the other hand, it's a lot easier if I want to kind of use it as a curler. Not exactly a curler, but since it's a lot easier to maneuver, I can kind of create more body and more wave and curl it back. Whereas on this side, I'm just trying to get it dry. I struggle enough trying to get the round brush and the hair dryer in the right spots. It's just so much easier when you have a free hand to kind of pick up the next piece or comb it through or just anything. You 
You can tell in the video the difference between my attention when I am doing this side of my hair versus this side of my hair. Like when I'm doing this, I have to be staring at it, knowing exactly where I'm going. I have to be watching the hair that the round brush is picking up. I have to be watching where the hair dryer is. But on this side, I kind of zone out since once I know it's in the brush, I kind of just can feel my way through it. I don't have to position a hair dryer. So in the video, I, a lot of times I'm just kind of like staring off into the distance as I'm doing it. So it's a lot more relaxing. Sometimes I'll even watch a YouTube video while I do it, which I can't say the same for a normal hair dryer. It's also a lot quieter than a normal one. So as you can tell, I really, really love this Revlon hair dryer. I think it was an incredible purchase. I think it was well worth every cent I spent on it. I think my favorite thing about it is how smooth it gets my hair. And just to recap, you can tell how smooth and shiny this side looks versus this side where all the hair is just kind of scraggly and going everywhere. It looks frizzy. And that's not even because I just comb through it. Like, that's a huge difference. Like this side, I would definitely not go out like this without flat ironing it or curling it or doing something. This side, even though it's not as straight as I normally like it, I would wear it out. I feel like it just kind of looks wavy and it's smooth. It's not frizzy. It's good in my book. Um, I don't know if there's anything else I have to say about this other than I think you should buy it. But remember to look and see who has it on sale. Don't spend $60 on it. You can definitely find it cheaper. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you for your support. I will hopefully see you in my next video. I'm going to go use the Revlon one to correct this side now.